Right. So we'll we so far we've discussed no, the uh, the the uh, introductory concepts on alg- uh, analysis on algorithms. Okay. So we discussed um, basically the analysis of algorithms, counting of operations. We also discussed uh, recursion, which is an important uh, technique when um, dealing with algorithms. Okay. So it's one of the ways to um, one of the ways, okay, but not the not always the way okay, to improve. It's not always the way to improve the efficiency of algorithms. Uh, we we'll look into how computers would interpret or store numbers, okay, just to have a, a background on how computers would actually uh, do things, okay, at the low level, okay, at the at the numerical level, okay. So through the numeric uh, number representation. We understand that uh, computers were working on binaries, okay, on ones and zeros. Okay, the circuits themselves are also working on ones and zeros. Okay, and we also dealt with algorithms regarding binary um, operations. Okay, so there's a start on um, how to do algorithmic thinking already at that point. Okay, now for this session, we'll look on some. Uh, practical algorithms, I would say, okay, but these are more of their simple, uh, simpler forms, okay, so on their basic forms. So when we talk about searching, okay, you might be thinking um, of Google, okay, that's our so far de facto Google search engine, uh, search engine. You could also think of searching for somebody on Facebook, okay, that's also a search. Um, what else? Um, Ano pa ibang examples ng search? Okay, can you guys give an example? Okay, so for example, let's put it Google search. Basic. Um, there's also Facebook search for users. Uh, DuckDuckGo, could you uh, could you please elaborate on what that is? I'm not familiar with what DuckDuckGo is. There's. Okay, it's another web browser search engine. All right. So same concept with uh, Google search. Sige. Ano pa? Ano pa ibang siya search nyo? File Explorer. Uh, that's right. There's also um, uh, fa- uh, search capabilities when it comes to File Explorer. So navigating through your um, directories, uh, navigating through your folders. That's also search. Yahoo. Yes, of course. Uh, alternate to Google. Okay, and one of them uh, also mainstream other to Google. Okay, yeah, who is there? Um, what else? Bing, YouTube, finding words in MS Word. Okay, that's right. Okay, all of those things are search um, app uh, applications which which implements uh, search algorithms. Okay, so when it comes to search algorithms, these algorithms are uh, the ones that respond to what we call search problems, okay? And search problems, by the name itself, it's every maybe mathematical problem, okay? Or abstract abstract problems, which deals with searching for an item, searching for a query, uh, or spe- searching for an element, okay? On whatever domain of uh, data there is, okay? So, Right here, annotate. Okay, so we've discussed actually um, uh, search okay during the previous lectures. During the analysis of algorithms, we've discussed ex- a quick example finding for x in an array. Okay, and we looked into some best case and worst case. Okay, so we've seen that the best case is when um, the the search query is the first element. Of the of the array, the worst case would be if the element is at the end of the array or 
not in the array itself. Okay, so um, two worst cases, okay, but the point there is it's worst case because we have to search through all of the elements first before we arrive or before the algorithm stops or arrives at the decision. Okay, during the recursion lecture, there's also a search um, feed, uh, quote unquote feature. Okay, there's also, there's also a search here where we actually, we are actually looking through all of the boxes, okay, within a bigger box and uh, searching for the key. Okay, so it's also a search um, problem, right? So we'll see that how we can apply both things later on. Okay. Again, um, let's discuss what uh, the basic search algorithm. Okay, so it's what we call the linear search. Okay, this is this this is similar as to uh, the slide or the uh, the slide where we discussed uh, the analysis of algorithms. Okay. So we're doing a basic search or linear search where we have an array of n numbers, okay, and a search query v, okay. So the goal here is that um, through the algorithm, we it will output where the element v is within the array, and if it's not in the array, okay, it will actually output negative one, okay. So if you look it up online, okay, you will might you might see it it, it will output null. Okay. In our case, if instead of saying null, we just output um, negative one okay? for now. Um, the algorithm here, I already wrote it on Python language so that uh, since we will all be using Python for this class. Okay? But please don't forget um, the, the pseudocode, uh, pseudocode notations, right? So I um, have Python scripts. Okay, so it's simple enough. Okay, we simply have to loop through all the elements in array A. Okay, so for i in range length of A, okay, if the element, uh, if the current element we're checking on array is equal to V, which is a search query, we simply return the index. Okay, then if not, then we will return negative one. Okay, so of course, if we try to look at this loop, okay. Um, if it doesn't return something, then it will fall out of the loop and then return negative one. Okay, but if it returns something within the loop, let's say it returns one, two, or three, okay, uh, under on the index, then it uh, basically ends, executes, um, terminates the program. Okay, so it's fine. This works fine. Now, if we have an array A, okay, of one, two, three, four, five, and we have inputs, inputs in the uh, list or area. If we have three different Vs, one, three, and five, what should be the value of I? Okay, so if V is equal to one, what should be the value of I? Five, okay. Uh, again, look at the algorithm here. So we should be returning the index where V is found. Okay, so if this is the array, okay, and our search input is one, okay, ani ani ano dapat yung lalabas na uh, I two. Okay, so bakit taging bakit uh, two your answer? Index one, okay. Um, okay. Again, if you look at Python, uh, the uh, the index starts at zero. Okay, so uh, the array index always starts at zero and ends at uh, length minus one. Right? So it's not actually index one. Okay, although it's the first element, it's not index one. But it's actually index uh, zero. Okay. So for v equals one, it's actually on index zero because it's the first element of the array. Okay, so if we are looking at v equals three, okay, any index na dapat the output niya? What is i? Okay, okay. 
Anyone? Any index uh, ni three on array A? We have four, we have two. Okay, let's count. So again, the first element is the zeroth element, okay? Or index zero, this is index one, this is index two, okay? So um, so the correct answer here for V equals three is two, okay? Index two, right? So if you simply look at the code again, okay? So an lang yan, no? So, I in range length A, so it starts with zero to length A. Okay, our length of A here is five. Okay, so it starts from zero, then it loops from zero to four. Okay, so uh, so if if A I is equal to V, so at first iteration. Okay, so first iteration. I would be equal to zero. A I oops. Okay, would be equal to Anna. Would be equal to A. Okay, zero, which is one, and V is still, okay, let's use three, three, okay? So is A, I equals V, okay? The answer is no, because it's one, one is, equal, is not equal to three, so we move to iteration number two. Iteration number two, okay, we again loop it, we go to the next I, I equals one. Say for loop, no, we're iterating. Uh, we're adding one to the uh to the to variable i. Okay. Now a i. Will be a. Of one. Is equal to. Two. Right. Uh, I don't know why it's doing this. And V, wala lang tayong binabago sa, sa V, so it remains the same. V equals 3. Okay? Still, 2 is not equal to 3, so we uh, we don't stop the loop yet. At least it doesn't stop. Okay? First, uh, AI is not yet equal to V. Okay? And we haven't reached the length of uh, the last value for i, which is length a minus 1. Okay. Now we go to the third iteration. Now our i is equal to 2. Okay. Plus 1, plus 1 pa rin. Now our a of i will be equal to a of 2, which is now, okay, dapat plato square brackets, no? but I'll just keep it as it is. Um, a of 2 is equal to, okay, 0, 1, 2. So it's equal to 3. And V is equal to 3. Now 3 is equal to 3. So it uh it now goes into these um the, the lines of code under the if clause. Okay, so ngayon, it will now return I. Okay. So we stop the loop because we returned something already. And we will return the value of I, which is equal to. Okay, so nagets na yung flow na algorithm ng ng code. Does it make more sense now? All right, sige. Now let's look at v equals five. Okay, so if v is equal to five, tuloy na natin. So iteration. So this will become five. And 
na siya, no? So, this becomes x again. So, we proceed with the fourth iteration, not necessarily fourth index. Okay, so i is equal to 3. a of i is equal to a of 4, which is equal to 4. And v remains the same. Okay, so again, not equal. So, we go through the loop again. Okay. And for the fifth iteration, i is equal to 4. a of i is equal to a of 5 is equal to 5. b equals 5. Okay. Now they're the same. Okay. So, ano yung i-output ni algorithm? Ano yung i-return niya? Based on our algorithm, what should the program um, return? Negative one. Why is it negative one? Okay, remember, if na meet yung if statement or if condition, okay, it will actually fall, it will actually execute the lines underneath that if clause, okay, which is a return. And if there's a return already, okay, basically the entire function or the entire algorithm um, terminates, okay, and outputs that value, okay. So again, what would be the, what, will be the i value at this point now that a of i is equal to v. All right. Okay. So it will actually output 4. Okay. Because that's the current value of i. Okay. Wala naman tayong binago on i. We didn't change anything on the value of i. So it will simply return its current value of i. Okay. If in case there's a code here, there's a line here which says I, there's a calculation here, kunwari lang, I equals I plus 1, then before returning, before doing the return, it will actually execute this line of code first, which is the I equals I plus 1. So that would be current value of I plus 1. So it will return 5. Okay, But since there's no calculation or any manipulation on the value of I at this point, so whatever the value of i, okay, at fifth iteration or at the current iteration, it will simply just return it, okay, or it will simply just print that value, okay. So now, uh, just to extend this example, okay, if we have v is equal to okay, let's have v is equal to eight. Okay, so it will, if we have a new V, then basically we will run the same algorithm again from the start. So iteration one, our I will be equal to zero. A of zero is equal to one, V is equal to eight, not equal. So we go to the next loop, okay? We don't have any statement for AI not equal to V. Okay, so go to the next loop. We add one to I, okay? A of one is equal to two. V is equal to 8, still not equal. So we, we will again iterate, okay? Go to the next iteration. We add 1 to I, so I equals 2. A2 equals 3. V equals 8. A2 is not yet equal to V. So we will make another iteration. Okay? So we go to the fourth, we go to the fifth iteration. At this point, okay? Ano yung, may, ano, ano yung may status ni um, loop? Will it continue to i equals 5 or will it uh, terminate? Okay, so it will terminate. 
because we have reached already um, length A, okay? Length A minus one, okay? So again, for for loops no, in Python, okay, if we use this line of code, which it basically means for all i in range, okay? Range length A is uh, simply means it will go through zero, one, onwards up to length A, I'll just use small a, minus one, okay? So if we go range five, that means it will go from zero, one, two, three, four, okay? If you use range 10, it will go from zero to nine, okay? So it's if so since we put range length of length a, it will go from zero to length by a minus one, okay? So since our length here is five, okay, then it will only go through from zero, one, i equals zero, i equals one, two, three, and four. Okay, so since i equals four na, okay, on the sixth iteration, okay, it will still make i equals five, okay, but suddenly it will break, okay? Ito yung um, during the uh, analysis of algorithms where I said that there will still be uh, another, there's a plus one in terms of comparison. It's because of this one. So it will add one to, to i and it identifies that uh, we're already beyond the range, okay? Then it terminates the loop, okay? So since we terminated, we terminated the loop without returning something, the code will still run, the algorithm will still run, okay? But it will simply move out of the loop, okay? So the code outside the loop, okay, right next to it is return negative one. So the answer here would be i is equal to negative one or not in array. Okay, any questions? Okay, not in array. Okay, that's our definition for um that's, it, that's our definition for if the element is not in array. Okay, so we uh we return negative one. Okay. Um easy enough. Clear the man. Okay, so ganun lang siya, linear search. We run through all the elements in the array, okay? We go through each one by one, okay? So index zero, index one, two, three, four, and so on, okay? And every iteration we check, okay? Is A of zero equal to my search term? Ito ba yun? Okay, if hindi ikaw, next. Next person in the line or next element in the line. Ikaw ba yun? De. Okay, next person or next item in the line. So, ganun lang. So, we run through all the elements until we find the search query, okay? Um, if you, if uh, once you find it, okay, you will, you don't have to execute again uh, to the rest of the elements. Okay, na, you found it na. So, you simply have to return it and terminate the code. That's it. So, that's what's happening here in this algorithm. Okay? So, Again, if we look at the runtime, okay, it's exact or this code is exactly this code or, or this um, instruction of finding x in an array. Okay, so we have a search function which accepts an array A and a query x. Okay, it query x on dito. So what we see here, okay, at least from back in our discussion. Okay, it's the best case for if the element um, being queried okay, or being searched is the first element. Okay, if the element being searched is the last element or not in the array, that's the worst case. Okay, so in this case, we can say that um, we have these different runtimes. Okay, so again, the best case is of one, okay, meaning we just need to perform one check or a constant check, and that's it, okay? 
even though you have an array length of 1,000 or length, array length of 10,000, okay, or even more, since the, since the first element is already the element you're, that you're looking for, then we don't have to run it through the entire list of 1,000 elements or 10,000 elements. Okay, so we just did one check. That's why it's, that's why it's O of one. Okay, now the worst case here is that, again, we run through everything. Okay, we reach the end of the array and that's when we can only decide or the, that's when the code will, execute, will terminate, okay? And provide you an answer whether it's there or not. So the worst case, okay, this worst case is translated into this big O notation, which is O of n, okay? Because we have to search again through all of the elements, okay? So if you have um, 10,000 elements, you have to look at 10,000 elements before you arrive at the decision. Okay, so ano naman to? What is this average case, okay? So the average case is we look at the average number of uh, checks, basically. Okay. So if we have, um, let's say if we arrive, um, okay. So if the if the first element is a, if the is a query in search, okay. So our runtime will be one. Okay. There's only one check. If the um, if the, if the element that is being queried is not second element, now we have two checks. So we check through the first and the second element. Okay, time out. Okay, wait long. Okay, going back. So if the um, if the query element is a third index, then we perform three checks. We per we check with the first element, the second element, with the third element. Okay. So now if we this goes on until um, that instance, okay, that time where we have to check everything up to n. Okay. So if we do a summation of all of this, okay? Oops. Okay, so if we add all of these and make the average, okay? The average number of checks will be equal to n plus one times n, ah. Sorry. So the average number of checks will be n plus one um, divided by two. Okay. So that's why it's the O of n plus one over two. Okay. Um, and again, okay, this is equal to n or one half n plus one half. Okay. And similarly, how we do it with a uh, big O notation, we look at the largest term, uh, the term with the highest order, which is one half n. We drop the coefficients, okay, and we arrive at simply n. Okay, so at an average, it will still perform at an O of n runtime. Okay, so now, kaya tayo arrive on this O of n for average case. Okay, so now the question here would be, um, why is my internet connection stable? Okay, 
Um, okay, so the question now here is, is there a way to improve the algorithm? Okay, uh, worst case scenario is O of N. That means you have to, if we have 10,000 elements, you have to look for all of 10,000 elements. On average, uh, we, we still arrive at O of N, okay? That means it will arrive at, uh, ano pa rin? So linear pa rin yung growth niya, okay? So uh, not necessarily you will arrive at, um, you will have to look at 10,000 elements, but on the process, okay, uh, one additional element, okay, will still increase your runtime by one, okay? So ganun pa rin siya. So is there any way how to improve this? Okay. If you recall our analysis of algorithms, okay, there is still um, a category of efficiency between O of N and O of 1. Okay. And that is the logarithmic um, category. So the O of log N. And the concept of that is that it leverages on dividing the search area. Okay. So instead of um, each iteration will look through all the elements, okay? Pabawas ng pabawas yung number of elements that we are looking at, okay? We are dividing it into small, uh, smaller uh, sub-problems, okay? So now, how do we actually apply that here on the linear search, okay? Um, sige, let's have an example, okay? Maybe can someone turn on their microphone and do this, do this exercise with me? Sino gusto mag-volunteer? Anyone? Mm, hi, sir. I can. Sige. Um, Rafael or ano ba nickname mo? Wala, sir. Wala. All right. Sige. Um, I have a number in my head, okay, uh, between 0 to 20, okay? Could you guess what number it is? Do you have any guesses? 11, sir. Okay, 11 um, higher. 15. Okay, correct. Okay, so okay, one more time. Uh, so okay, I have the new, the new number now, okay? Um, three. Three, um, higher. Seven. Uy, galing, sumakta ka ulit. Okay, so, how does that help? Okay, um, knowing that, uh, I give you an, I give you that insight or that information that the number that you're looking for is higher or lower than your current pick. Well, kasi sir, if, uh, you, if you didn't give me any insight at all, like, uh, let's say I pick, let's say ten, like that, like there would be like an equal amount of numbers, like before, uh, higher than ten or lower than ten, so it would be a lot harder to, to just guess. Mm -hmm. but since you gave me enough, since you gave me, oh, let's say, uh, since you gave me, uh, gave me feedback, like. Uh, how would I say this? Uh, my options got lessened, so that was good. All right, so we reduced your search search area basically, right? So instead of look, instead of minding about the numbers um, less than ten, okay. If the if I said if I say that it's higher, then you only have to look at eleven to twenty, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So yun. Um parang akinate I said was it akinate or akinator? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh What's uh, was Angela could you explain on that please? Could you expand on that? Ano sir? Uh parang parang game na may may genie na mag-guess ng nasa isip mo. Uh tas magtatanong siya ng like Kunyari, may iniisip kang character, tapos tatanong niya, is this from a movie? Is this, mm. is this, th does this man have... Ah, 
Angela? Nakin lang ba yun? Or, ay, okay. Sorry, nag, 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 nag-drop yung voice mo somewhere. So basically what you're saying is that All right, can you hear me again? I got disconnected. Yes, po. Okay, sorry. Um, all right, based on what you said, you nakuha ko at least. Um you were asked of a character or maybe an object and then suddenly it through the questions of yes and no's um yeah uh it narrows it down basically tama ba opo bale ano po kayo po yung mag-iisip nung kahit ano po ba character sa movie or ano kahit kahit mm. uh, you, youtuber ganyan po uh, ah okay. okay kayo yung mag so, kayo yung mag-iisip po That's, siya yung magna-narrow down by asking questions. Mm, okay. Yes, exactly. Okay, so that's right. Parang ganun din yun. That's, it's the same concept, no? So you still divide that vast uh, domain of knowledge, I would say, okay, into specific categories. Or basically, the, the goal of those categories is to narrow them down. Okay? So in order to do that, okay, in order to do... Either the one you're saying, okay, you guess the character, guess the YouTuber, or if you go back to the number exercise, okay, uh, the one Paulo mentioned, one characteristic there is that um, the elements have to be arranged somehow, okay, whether kung categories, okay, uh, the groups of categories have, be, have to be arranged and the subcategories have to be arranged as, as well, okay. Now let's look at the numbers maybe ma- baka mas ma- baka mas uh, madali lang i- recall okay so if we have uh, to determine whether a number is higher or lower than uh than a query okay ano yung dapat na arrangement na array natin what's that arrangement that we need Okay, Paulo, if I um if I shuffle the numbers, okay? Basically the numbers is not arranged from 0 to 20. Do you think would that help if I say higher or lower? What do you mean by shuffle the numbers, sir? Sorry. Uh not in order basically. Hmm. And then I say like okay, kunyari, wala, walang natural order of numbers. <laughs> okay? okay. So I shuffle the numbers in my head and I keep on saying higher or lower. But technically, okay, would that make sense if I say that? That would make it like a lot harder. A lot harder or technically would be impossible because um, kasi if I say that um, the number in my head is two, but it's actually the 10th element. Okay? And let's say... Yeah, exactly. So if we started with five and I would say higher, okay, kasi yun tulo sa dulo, okay, then magulo na, di ba? So if we have an ordered array, okay, then maybe somehow we can make it work, we can improve this O of N, okay, into a more faster algorithm basically or a faster process. So we, again, Based on both examples, no, the Akinator and uh, the, the number guessing, we what we want is to to divide the entire array into smaller problems that are more manageable, basically. Okay, so for cases like sorted and unsorted array, okay, the linear search will work the same way. Okay, it they will work. It will run on O of n. Um, runtime. Okay? So, kahit sorted yan or non-sort, not sorted, it will still perform at a linear um, runtime. Kasi, it will, the algorithm will still have to go through all the elements. Okay? So, when, kung ganun nga, kung wala namang natural order of numbers, it's okay. You will still arrive at the index where V equals 2 is. Okay? Because we don't, 
we're basically checking just each of the um, indices of the array. Okay, but when the array is arranged, okay, or it's sorted, okay, in our in uh in our most common terms, okay, if it's sorted or in ordered, okay, ascending or descending order, then we can somehow manage to split the problem. Okay, so that aspect is what we call the binary search. Okay, or at least we can use the binary search uh to make it work. Okay, it's a search algorithm again. Okay. Uh, where we search a sorted array by repeatedly dividing the search interval in half. Okay, so let's say, um, kunwari yung technique yung ginawa ni Paul Reina, if it's zero to twenty, if if lagi siya start at ten, okay, then easier to divide niyong problem into two. Okay, instead of thinking about twenty numbers, if I say it's higher or lower, it reduces the problem into let's say ten. Okay, then we arrive at another number, may reduce again from 10 to 5. Okay, then it will reduce the problem again to 2 until we reach at the right number. Okay, so yeah, the yung, uh, this is the sketch of what we did earlier. No? So the, the algorithm here again, okay, we have instead of just a common array or any array, we have a sorted array in this case of n numbers. We still have the search query V our output would be the same, which is the index i, where ai is equal to v, else negative one if it's not in the array, okay? So what we, have, what we, at least for here, okay, it's by iteration, okay? So we have to uh, look at different pointers, okay? So we, we set a pointer low at zero, which is the first element. We set pointer high, okay? at n minus one, which is the last element of the array. Okay, so you could imagine you have a box, okay? You could imagine this is your array. Uh, okay. You could, ima you could imagine this is your array. We have pointer low here. And we have pointer high. Okay. This is what the first two lines is talking about. Okay, first two lines are talking about. Anyway, <clears throat> now our loop criteria here is that as long as this two remains in this order, okay? It doesn't flip, no? It doesn't arrive at a point where high and it's this is low, okay? As long as it doesn't arrive here, we continue um, the iteration, okay? That's line number three. Okay? Now, again, we look at the middle element, okay? So we get the average of the two of the high and the low so low plus high divided by two okay uh better let's say if in python we use the integer division or the double slash so it rounds it down i think i think it rounds it down to the nearest integer okay so let's say if we have 10 elements if our n is equal to 10 okay then we have zero for low and we have nine for high okay so zero plus nine is nine divided by two that's actually four if we round it down so zero one two three four okay now this will be our mid okay our mid is equal to four, which is zero plus nine. Oh my goodness, I'm getting annoyed. Okay, zero plus nine divided by two, double slash. Okay, any questions so far? Any questions?
Wala pa. Alright. So now we have three pointers. Okay. We have the low, the mid, and the high. Okay. What we're searching, basically you mid uh, index is what Polo was suggesting. Okay. Yung um, is the number 10, is the number 5, is the number 7, ganyan. Okay. So that's the mid um, index. Okay. So, and then after that, we make the decision. Okay. If on the first uh, decision, okay, if our A mid is actually our search element, okay, if that's the V, then we return the index mid. Okay, simple. Dripa. Okay, so if yung unang um, okay, if yung unang, yung unang check mo, okay, since we will check the mid all the time, okay, so if the first check is actually the search element, okay, then we return immediately the, uh, the index at that iteration and uh, terminates the entire loop. Okay, now, if uh, a mid, okay, if this element, okay, it's not V anymore. Okay, if this element is actually less than V, okay, if, if it's less than V, meaning that our the search query is still greater than the middle element, then we move the pointer to mid plus one. Okay, so instead of low equals zero, we move it to here. Okay, so instead of low equals zero, we reassign the low variable to this variable, to this element, uh, index. So four plus one is five. Okay, now as you can see, we have a smaller um, search size, okay? Instead of searching from zero, we reduced our search elements from uh, to five to nine, okay? Instead of zero to nine, okay? Is, it, is this clear? Or do you want me to repeat that? Okay. So what what basically happened is that if hindi to yung search element, okay, if mid is not the right index, and again the array is sorted, so we have an idea if it's higher or lower. Okay. So let's say our v is equal to um, 17, the 0 to 10, so impossible 17. Okay, let's say 7 and a mid is 4. Okay, then we know that a mid is less than v. Okay, so basically, we're saying in that game earlier, um, I would say higher. Okay, so that that calls you to look at the higher elements or the higher interval. Okay, so we move this low pointer to low equals five, index five, so that it reduces our search query. We are now looking at all numbers higher than um, four. Okay, so that's in your point no, um, seven and eight. Okay, if we know it's higher, then we simply look at all the elements after four. Okay. Now, on the other hand, lines 9 and 10, else, okay, so it's, that's basically A mid is greater than V, okay, that is saying that um, uh, V is lower than uh, A mid, okay. So let's say our V is not 7, but actually 2. So let's say V is equal to 2, 
I'm saying that I'm I I will uh basically call lower. Okay. Now what the code does is that the high we will move the high instead from nine to mid minus one, which is at this point. Ah, high equals three. Okay. So now it reduces our problem from zero to nine. Okay, two. 0 to 3. Okay? So, yun na lang yung hahanapin natin na uh, elements. Does that make sense? Okay. So, yun. This, I, this process of moving the highs and lows, defining our search term or search query, or I mean, uh, defining our um, search area, Okay. It happens until um maging it happens until maging either high is less than low or until we find the search element. Okay? So the high may reverse lang tong low less than equal to high if the search query is not in the array. Okay? So mangyayari lang yan if ganun yung mangyari. So kubaga nag-exceed tayo ng mid plus 1, na-exceed natin si high, or nagkaroon ng another mid minus 1, so na, na, na lampasan ni high si low, okay, to the left. So, ganun lang siya. So, if that's the case, we break the while loop, and then we return negative 1 uh, to say na it's not in the array. Okay? Any question? Any questions here? Okay, how about the rest? Any questions? Okay, so the idea here on the binary search is that we basically divide the entire search um, list into two. Okay, so we divide it on the mid and then we look whether the search element is less than or greater than the mid. Okay. Then we look at that next interval. Okay, if the search is greater than the mid, okay, we look at the elements greater than the mid element. If otherwise, we look at the elements less than the mid element. Okay, and since we know it's sorted, we are assured that the decision of higher or lower would be correct. Okay, so yun yung um, that's what we're leveraging here. Okay, the 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 point that it's a sorted array, okay? So if it's sorted, then um, we can efficiently do binary search, okay? Now, in terms of runtime, okay, if again, the search element is the first element that we inspected, we arrive at the best case um, O of one, okay? This is on lines five, six. If we returned um, the mid element right away, then we basically just did one check. Okay. Now, for the worst case, okay, uh, we arrive at log n. Okay. So what does this mean? Okay. Let's say if we have zero to 10, that means we have 10 elements to check. Okay. Then we split it into two. So we have five elements to check. We split this into two. We have two elements to check. Okay, I'm rounding it down, no? I'm not using the decimal point. Okay, we divide it into two. We have one element to check until we arrive at the correct answer. Okay, now if we add this up, okay, uh, then we will arrive at a trend that work, looks like this on a logarithmic scale. Okay, so let me just show that very quickly. Masabi niya nag ako ng uh, chart. Okay, can you see the Excel now? Excel file? Okay, yes. Okay, now we have different iterations. And iterations. 
on the first iteration, okay, let's say our n is equal to, um, yeah, let's put it 100. So we have 100 elements to search. On the next L, on the next iteration, we have 50 elements to look at. Okay. Third iteration, we have 25 elements to look at. Okay. Next, uh, we have 12 elements to look at. So we round it down, no? We round down along. Um, next iteration, we are looking at six elements. Next iteration, we will be looking at three elements. Um, seventh iteration, we have one element. Okay. Until we arrive at the right answer, we're just looking at one element. Okay. Similarly, okay, dun sa ginagawa natin for analysis of algorithms, one, once you identified the number of operations happening for each line, we simply add them up, right? So we'll add this now. Um, okay. We'll hold the first element. And then drag the formula, okay? Manaman, dapat may this one lahat na siya. All right. Okay, and then we plot the graph just to make it more visual. Okay, as you can see, we arrive at a at similar graph as I've sketched earlier, no? And this is the logarithmic uh, graph. Right. So as we increase the number of iterations, we lessen the number of um, search areas and we arrive at this total uh, graph. Okay. So yeah, I'm not kidding when I said that that's the sketch of the graph later uh, earlier. Okay. So we arrive at this trend. Okay. So this is the logarithmic um, graph, okay? That's why we arrive at the worst case log n and on average, it's also logarithmic n, okay? Hang on. Oh, that's why. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so our runtime now is improved, has improved. Okay, so instead of running for O of N, okay, we are now running at the worst case log N. Okay, and based on our scale of big O notation, okay, the best is O of one or constant. Next is O of log n, and the next is O of n. Right, so um, O of one is less than log n, which is less than O of n. Okay, so we make uh, we have made the linear search more efficient. By leveraging the properties of um, of a sorted array, okay. So in case if the if the array is unsorted, okay, then linear search should be much more effective. If the array is sorted, then we will use um, binary search, okay, in order to make the make the calculation or the process more efficient, okay. Now, this is by iteration, okay? As you can see, we are moving the elements manually or we are moving the pointers manually. So you could imagine, uh, put up your two fingers in the air, left, uh, one, both of your index fingers in the air, okay? So you have the low and the high and every iteration, you're simply moving them closer and closer with each other, okay? So parang ganun lang yung sa iteration process. Now, uh, recalling our recursion, okay, uh, recursion topic, it helps break down the problem, okay.
Okay? So that means binary search can also be a recursive algorithm because we want to divide the problem or the, the, the array into smaller sizes of the array. Okay? So if we look at my recursion, okay, this is now the algorithm for that. Okay, we have more inputs now. Okay, we still have the sorted array A, search query V, but now it asks for the left and the right index, okay, the low and the high index that we have earlier. Okay, and this is the entire method for that in Py again in Python script. So this bin search underscore rec method uh, accepts an, the, the sorted array the search query, and the intervals, okay? The, the ends of the intervals in question, okay? So you can imagine instead of running this high and low manually, okay? We will simply just input the new values here on the same function, okay? So if low is less than equal to high, okay? Same, same case, same recursive case uh, as earlier in the while loop, no? So as long as the low is at the lows and the high is higher than the low, okay, we, we, we repeat the process, the loop itself. Okay? So we look at the middle element, low plus high. Okay? If the A of mid is equal to V, then we return the mid index. If A mid is less than X or if uh, it should be V, okay? if, uh, if the A mid is less than V, then we run the same algorithm for the next interval, which is the mid plus one and high. Okay. So we will do the same thing for that smaller interval. Okay. Kaya siya re naging recursive. Okay. We, what we did on the bigger box, we will be doing on the smaller boxes. If you recall the example on recursion. What we did on the bigger array or the, or the larger array, we will do it on the smaller arrays, smaller intervals. Okay? So since uh, we say na A mid is less than V, then we will run the same method on the, next, or on the smaller interval, which is the mid plus one and high. Okay? If the search query is less than the mid, Okay, or A mid is greater than uh, greater than V, then we will run the same method on the lower interval, which is the low to mid minus one. Okay, kaya siya naging recursive, right? Again, recursion. If you could recall, we will be um, invoking or calling the same method within itself. Okay, so now here, okay, um, this is our recursion case our recursive case. What do you think is our base case? Okay. Our base case helps us to terminate the loop or terminate the recursion uh, in case na for the cases that it will so that it we, so that we don't arrive at infinite loops. Okay. So what is the breaking condition to this recursive case? Anyone? Uh, return negative one, not yet. Okay, that's what the, the, the function will return if we break the loop or if we break the, the infinite recursion. Okay, so any condition uh, with, that will indicate or that will tell the program to stop doing the recursion anymore. Don't proceed with the next recursion. Dalawa lang yan, if and else lang yan. Okay? Again, our, our recursive case or the recursion will continue if the low is less than or equal to high. Okay? So what will be our base case or the condition where the recursion will stop? Uh, 
Okay? Clue is on the else statement implicitly. It's implicitly on the else statement. Anyone? If low is greater than high, okay, correct. So once again, mag overlap si high and low, where low becomes greater than high, okay, um, then it breaks, it tells the function to stop doing the recursion, okay. So, pag darating sa point na mangyayari, the mid and high will be equal, then mag mid minus one or mag mid plus one then it will overlap, then it will return negative 1 or it will stop the entire recursion. Okay? So that is our base case. Again, the base case is the condition which stops the recursion. The recursive case is the condition where recursion will occur. I mean, as it says, right? Recursive case. So... As long as it falls under the recursive case, okay, or the or it returns true, okay, then the recursion will continue to happen. Okay. So if we don't have the base case, which tells the program to stop recursing or stop the recursion, then it will continue to proceed with the recursion infinitely. Okay. Until maubos yung computer resources nyo. All right. So that's algorithm two. It's the same binary search, but instead by recursion method. Instead of moving the high and low indices manually, okay. So basically, well, technically, ganun pa rin naman siya, but we are just using the same method as it is. So it's clear, hopefully, it's clear that what we will do if we look at the overall pro procedure of the bin search rec method, uh, ganun pa rin siya. So, uh, we will still look if the element is higher or lower than the current element inspected, which is A mid. Okay. And if it's higher, then we focus on the latter interval. Okay. But then since we're doing the same thing naman for the latter interval, we just have to run it on the same method. Okay. In but instead, we will indicate that please search from mid plus one to high. Okay. Or please search from low to mid minus one instead, uh, instead of low and high. Okay. Questions? Question here? Okay, none. All right. Now let's take a look at Python. And hello. Okay, can you see my Jupyter Lab? Okay. Right. So if you look here, like uh -huh. All right, let me know if you can see the PowerPoint and the Jupyter Lab. Okay, sige. So, I'll zoom it in. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So, this is exactly the same as our algorithm one. Okay which is the linear search. Okay, so we have 
uh, we ask for inputs A and V. Okay. We scan through all the elements okay, for I in range length A. Okay. Again, when we say length A, range length A, it goes from 0 up to length A minus 1. Okay. We'll just be clear. Range length A. 0 to length A minus 1. Okay. Then we inspect each element okay, from 0 up to length A minus 1. If it's V, then we return I. If not, then we return negative 1. Okay. If we have this array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and our search term is 8, what should be the output of our linear search? Anyone? Ano yung output dapat ng linear search natin? If we are looking for element 8. 7. Okay, is that correct? How about yung iba? Are there, are there other... Um, responses aside from seven. Okay, so let's check if it's actually seven. All right, seven. Correct. My answer is also seven. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and you are you both are correct. Okay, so it will output 7. So again, if we actually look for a term outside of this array, let's say we're looking for 16, what should be the output? Okay, negative 1, none. Okay, based on algorithm natin, it should output negative 1. And it gives us negative one. So tama. Our algorithm is correct. It stops at the right, um, the correct output. Okay. Now the next algorithm is binary search. Okay. By iteration. Iteration. Yeah. Okay. Same code. Okay. Same. This is the algorithm. This is the code. Again, we are using double slash. Double slash uh, floor division or round down. Okay. So instead of, uh, let's say if we have five divided by two, instead of uh, having a mid index of 2.5, it will actually round it down to two. Okay. So ganun siya. So at, since there's no actually 0.5 index, right? So, wala naman 0.5 index. So, we're dealing with whole numbers or integers. Whole numbers, okay? Wala rin pala negative index. Still questionable statement. Pwede, pwede pala mag-query ng negative. Anyway, my point is, dapat buo siya. There's no decimal point. Okay, that's why we're using double slash or floor division, which, is, which rounds down any decimal point. Okay, so now we have here mid equals low plus high divided by 2 okay if mid is equal to v return mid okay if a is less than v then we move our low um, pointer to mid plus 1 otherwise we move the high pointer instead to mid minus 1 okay so if we run through this the same array and search query okay so we'll balik tayo dun sa 8 Dapat it will arrive at the same answer, which is 7. So it arrives at 7. Okay. Um, so yeah, maybe to make it clearer, yung pag move ng index, no? let's have here a print case of low and high. Okay. So it will, it will uh, print the indices, right? 
So if we move here, if we run this, ayan. You can see very clearly how it moves from 0 to 9 to 5 to 9. Okay, so lumit yung um, index niya. Okay, so if we have a different search item, let's say um, 9. Okay, the index is 8. If you run this, okay, ayan. You can see na the, the search area has been divided into two, or at least it becomes smaller. From 0 to 9, to 5 to 9, then to 8 to 9. All right? So it's clear, both from visual sketch, okay, to code itself on how our intervals become smaller. Okay? Our, uh, our search intervals become smaller. Okay? Question? Question here. Okay, now what if our V is actually outside the, uh, the array? Okay, let's do V equals 16 again. So let's look at the behavior of the low and high pointers, okay, or index. Okay, so, ah, okay. There a way Okay, let's do it this way. Instead of the Jansha, you like it at the Ayan. Okay. Uh, what I did, so binago ko lang naman yung ano, no? Let's have another print here. Para isa. So what I did is that I just want to show the overlap that happened here. Okay, so if we run this, okay, we start at 0 to 9. Then we split the problem into 5 to 9. Then it becomes 8 to 9. It becomes 9 to 9. And then the overlap happened because of the extra mid plus 1. Dahil hindi pa makita eh. Right? So again, the, the lows and highs here becomes 10 to 9. Okay? So since we treat this as invalid based on our while loop, okay, then it will output negative 1. That means that the search query is not within that array itself. Okay? Any question? Questions? Okay. Clear naman. Uh, at least ito na. On code, on how the how the um splitting happens okay so if we have a different array popping current uh Random, yeah. Then random sample sort. I think that it's to me small. Uh, what's this every small? Uh, 
what the, these line do okay so we are getting a random uh, array of integers we sort that array and then we pick a random search query okay so ganun lang siya let's see if this runs ay may stone vito dito okay um yeah for an element of one hand uh 100 for an array of 100 elements okay so we look at elements 0 to 99 then it splits into 0 to 40 it halves it to 0 to 48 okay then we look at 25 to 48 interval then to 37 to 48 40 to 48 46 to 48 until we arrive at index 47 okay uh, as you can see you know, we don't even know what the value of v is or the what's the array a okay um naka randomize kasi siya so but it still performs what we expect it to do okay that it splits the entire array into two and then choose whether to focus on left or on the right interval okay now on next code, which is the um, recursion. Okay, I'll move on to the recursion slide. All right. Okay, so we do the same thing, same yen, translated to each other. So we have here, um, yeah, and bin search rec, okay, then it does the returns. Okay, um, can we actually put the print low high? Maybe we could. We just can't put it here. I did not play this before. Ayan. Okay. Okay, we use the same element, uh, the same array, itong um, randomized array, you know? So we arrive at uh, the same interval, okay? 0, 99, 0, 48, 25, 48, 37, 48, 43, 48, 46, 48, and uh, 47 as the final index, all right? Recursion works, iteration works. Any question? Okay, no questions so far. Um, let's have a. Let's see. Tapos na muna tayong slides. Before we arrive, before we go into a break. Okay, so. Uh, visually, from the sketches earlier, we've seen how the search area is uh, split into smaller uh, sub-problems. We've also seen it in the code. Okay, We look into the intervals being inspected and we see the lumilit intervals. Okay? Uh, we, all, we have also said that this algorithm runs on a log n uh, runtime. Okay? So given any length n, okay, so the binary search will take log two n steps. Okay. So in um if let's say we have 200 k elements, just look at log two 200 k, and you will arrive at the number of checks needed to be done by the binary search. Okay. So it's let's say if we have 100, okay. Then log it will the binary search will take log to log base to one hundred uh, steps. Okay, so if uh, if we if you do a quick search, we 
Build ko na lang, no? Okay? If we have 200,000 elements, then we arrive at 17.6 or 18, uh, 18 checks. Okay? Ayan siya. So, you will arrive at a 17, hindi naman 17.6, you can say, you will arrive at 17 or 18, um, or let's just say 18. You will arrive at 18 um, checks. If you have, let's say, instead of instead of 200,000 elements, we have um, 15 million elements to check. Okay? Then binary search would only take 23 or 24 checks or 24 steps. Okay? Imagine if we used a linear search for this 15 million elements. That would take you 15 million steps as well. Okay. As you can see, now you're seeing the, the performance improvement of having a logarithmic algorithm. Okay. So uh, if we do linear search, checking throughout 15 million elements will take 15 million steps. Okay. If we if we use binary search, it will reduce it will reduce the number of checks from 15 million down to merely 24 steps which is, again, much faster than uh, 15 million steps, right? Okay. All right, so searching again, just to summarize, we look for an element within an array. That's our main example, okay? Um, linear search runs at O of N time okay, for both sorted and unsorted array. Okay, so um, expect to see these um, number of checks to happen. So if you have 4 billion, 4 billion items, then you have to make 4 million guesses or 4 million checks. Okay, 100 items, 100 guesses or checks. Okay. Now, we have improved the algorithm okay, by leveraging the property of a certain array okay, where we can assure where we can actually make it certain where which way to look at, okay, whether to the left of the um, currently uh, inspected element or to the right of the currently inspected element, which splits our problem into two. Okay. So for sorted arrays, search runtime can be improved to O log N okay, by using binary search. As you can see, if we're checking for 100 items, we arrive, we can only make seven guesses out of 100. Okay? If we are looking at 4 billion items, we are simply looking at 32 checks or 32 guesses compared to 4 billion guesses on linear search. Okay? So that's where we can find the... As the as the sketch says, big O savings or O big savings. Okay, so we can see here that logarithmic time is a much faster um, uh, code or fast, much faster algorithm than an O of N algorithm. Okay, all right, that ends our searching um, discussion. Uh, let's take a break. Okay, it's 1.15. Let's go back. Let's convene at 1.30, 15 minutes. So you could take a break, stretch, drink some uh, water or eat something. Okay. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes.